We've just completed our pairing to the radiator. Now we can go in and check that it's all okay. So we come into home one, two, three. We're now in the dining room. You can see down here and we can see our little house. We've got our set point at 19 degrees. Little thermometer button in between the plus minus will toggle you between ambient and set point. I can change my set point by pushing the plus button. As soon as it changes color again, that's the new set point. And then it'll talk to the E3 and now we're seeing we've got power going to the heater. It's heating up trying to get to this set point from an ambient of 19 degrees. We can see that's working, all operational. We push this symbol here, which is our comfort setting, and this opens up our on-off menu. The main features we're going to use here is manual on, which is comfort, an overnight setting, which is manual reduced. We have our auto settings here. We don't tend to use timer and antifreeze, but I'll explain what they are. And then of course, our off button. If we want to turn that heater off, we just tick off, tick, and we're always going to be pushing where this symbol is. And it could be any one of those six or seven symbols, but we're always there to open up that menu. Comfort, tick, and we're back on again. Now, if we want to set our timer, we come into this menu, and then we come into the auto settings program. We go create. This is our 24 hour time clock. I'll give you an example. We'll come back to six o'clock in the morning. We can see on our digital readout, it's a 15 minute block. I want the heater to come on for two hours in the morning while we're getting up. So I push my sun symbol for two hours and I can see my digital readout here. We're going to work during the day, so we don't want it on during the day, but at four o'clock in the afternoon, we want the heaters to come on again through till 10 o'clock at night. If I want to change my temperature for the overnight section, which is the blue, I can do it by just touching there and I can dial this up or down. If I don't want the heater to operate in the overnight section, I take this temperature down to below my expected ambient and then it just won't turn on. I can adjust the temperature for the comfort level here. Typical might be 21 degrees. That'll change itself there. Now, I tick my days of the week. Let's say I want a program that's Monday to Friday that is like this. I tick that. Then I can make a change for the weekend. For the weekend, I'm not gonna get up so early. So I'm gonna overwrite this so it comes on a bit later to there. I can now tick Saturday, Sunday, and that program will be different for the weekend. If I come back out to my main menu, push auto and tick, that program is now running. Now I had it off during the day, so it's gonna show the blue, so it's in that overnight or low setting. It's now running just at that 10.5 degree set point and it will step up when it gets to the afternoon setting. So that's how we set a timer. If we try to adjust the temperature when it's in auto, what happens is it puts us out to this timer mode, which can be a little bit confusing. So if we're gonna do a temperature adjustment, we then are better off going to manual, tick, adjust our temperature to what we want, and then go back to auto when we're finished.